Okay, and this is my top 10 uh, tips for Maxima 761. Uh, it has the ability now with the REST API and automation scripts, so you can create an automation script uh, and then call it via the REST API. So just to give you, so if you go to um, the automation scripts app and you can create a new auto script, uh, just a script with no launch points. So I just for the ease of this uh, demo, I've created one already. Um, so I have a script called test script one, and all it does is it accepts a JSON REST uh, uh, message, and it's going to go and create a work order. I'm passing in the description, uh, the site ID, the asset. Now I'm defaulting the work type, and the script is called test script one. So if I go to my tool now, uh, I use Visual Studio Code. So here's my post to my host name, Maximo OSLC script, and then the name of my script. And in the JSON, I'm just passing in the asset num, site ID description. Uh, and I just made these up on the fly, and my script just kind of expects these. So when I kick this off, it's going to go and create a work order for this asset now with this description. And my script is going to default the uh, the work type. So I'm going to kick this off from my tool. And in a second, it should come back. Okay. I should get an OK response uh, in a few minutes or a few seconds. Um, okay. okay, here we go. So I've got a 200 OK. So now if I go to the work orders application and I'm going to filter by the asset number, and I just made a description called Test Wall from REST Auto Scripts. So if I go there and uh, in a second, I'll show you uh, this new work order should be there. Okay, so I'll type 11200. Okay. Okay. And here it is. So here's the work order that I just created on from a REST API by using the auto script and I could just write any implementation in there, you know, execute. Okay. Here's the date timestamp, it's a whopper, and here's my 